Inside Racing is brought to you by Dunlop. Lap after lap, day after day, even before the season begins, the car has to show in testing what it can do and endure. The key to success, however, lies in the tyres. Only if they're right for the car can a win be achieved. Let's look a bit closer at the secret under the wheel arch. It's all about this black viscous compound. The perfect mix consists of over 50 natural and chemical products and developing them is a science in itself. So it will be important to get the best material properties for those compound mix. So in a tire you may have, uh, for example, about 15 different compound mix in a tire. You will have different thread compounds for, for, for the road, to contact with the road, to generate the grip of the tire. You will have different compounds in the belt, make sure the tire doesn't heat too, up, too much in the, in the shoulders. Different compounds uh, to reinforce the, the bead area, so where you will transmit the forces from the carcass to the rim. The right compound, however, has also got to be worked in the right way. While being constantly heated, the mats produced get folded, smoothed and compacted again and again. As with conching chocolate, the mix thus becomes ever finer and of higher quality. The strips created in this way then get washed several times and thus cleaned of any residual pieces. Cut to size for later use, they get marked up and put into interim storage. A lifetime of many kilometers is now the target in the next step. By adding wire or cords, depending on the intended use, plies or beads get produced here that later hold the tire onto the rim. Built up then on top of the bead are the radial plies, which form the tire's substructure and absorb lateral forces. Lengthways belts provide directional stability and together with the substructure create a torsion resistant tyre. I think the tyre is one of the most complex things you can encounter on Earth. It's more complex than aircraft, so it's more complex than vehicle. This is also made clear by the high-tech materials in racing tyres. Extremely strong synthetic fibres create very lightweight, durable structures. First, the racing tyre's substructure gets built up layer by layer by experts with many years of experience. The tyre shoulder is made especially robust. Here, multiple plies and the fold-over produce extreme durability. After the final ply, the sidewall gets reinforced one last time and the bead thus securely embedded. The finished substructure, here light, grey and white, forms the basis for the belts, sidewalls and running surface. Here too, the tyre gets built up layer by layer. For optimum fit and durability, every strip is cut diagonally. Now it becomes clear why it's called what it is. See here how the belt gets put on which just leaves the running surface. In this machine, substructure and top layer get joined and bonded together. Even though they look already finished, these are green tires on the way to curing. In the curing process we use pressures of between 21 and 28 bar. Temperatures we use are between 160 and 185 degrees. Milled from one block, moulds are created that give the tyre its tread and lettering during the cutting process. Hidden under the wheel arch, there's thus lots of high-tech know-how, be it on the road or on the track. Inside Racing was brought to you by Dunlop.